So it's final time. It's all come down to this. Robbie Bolger looking to go back to back at Queensland Raceway. And Fernando Whirl, wouldn't he love to shove it up the critics who have said this car and this combination won't get him to a final? Well, these are two of the biggest budget and most high-tech drift cars ever built in Australia. And it's the best Japanese car in the field versus the best Aussie car in the field. What is going to happen as they come into that first corner? Fernando throws it down early. Bolger lacking a bit of speed just there. Fernando has got a good line. He's got good angle. The Irishman's going to have to come back in a hurry here. That's right. You could see Fernando went a little bit wide through the S's there. Now, Robbie usually takes the inside line, but he took a different one that time to follow through. Look how close Robbie is able to get to Fernando on that last corner. He is one of very few cars that can keep up. You can see Robbie pushing in very tight. He's saying hello to Fernando right up on the inside. The judges are going to love that proximity. Both these guys are Bilstein suspension equipped, and it shows superior performance in suspension, that's for sure. Away goes Bolger, looking to throw it down. You wouldn't know which way the judges have gone so far. Well, look at the big scando you saw from Ferdzer as he starts his entry to that first corner. So a bigger entry from Fernando as he comes in now, pushing right in on the tail of the big VIP Pet Foods Monaro. I tell you what, the Auto Salon team must be on the edge of their seat right in the pits as they're watching this battle now through the Toyo fire break. Fernando not quite as close as what Bolger was. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if this is a rerun. It looks very even. A little bit of a straightening from Fernando getting in. Bolger, look at them both. Emulation is superb from Fernando there. Angle is good from both of them. Speed is right up there. Going to be tough to call. Those there judges, are the judges. Look at them, they're scratching. And it is a rerun yeah. we're going to see. Didn't surprise me, Andrew. How could you possibly split them? I tell you what, Bolger has this habit of getting into a lot of reruns come final time, and it's happening once again. So deja vu for Robbie Bolger. Can Fernando have the answer to take the win? Let's see what happens on this run. Well, Fernando looking to throw it down. Bolger is right there with him. Good emulation. Very close. So proximity score is right up there. Good angle from both guys. Look at them now as they can put some accelerator down on that fire break. Both of them able to bush fire the tyres as they come through there. Now you can see Robbie usually takes an inside line, but he instead decided to fo follow Fernando through and go for the emulation side of things in regards to points. Speed is where Robbie is so tough. Here he goes. Will he try and keep the speed up and try and leave Fernando behind? Bit of a straighten just there. Not the best of entries to the corner for him. Fernando is right there. This could be it. Who will be the champ of this round? Look at Fernando trying to take that inside line so he can stay right on the inside of Bolger. The judges are loving the proximity these drivers have been showing this weekend, and Fernando's definitely been doing it as well. Look at that last corner blazing the tyres. Both of them are amped. They want to know the result. You can see Fernando, lots of angle as he came through there, able him to wash up a bit of speed, keep that inside line on the inside of Bolger. Look at him trying to push in there. There's no door open for him to take, but I tell you what, just keeping that close to Robbie is a mission in itself. Here's the score. What's it going to be for the judges? It's an 11-9, Fernando! Fernando takes it 11-9. He will now silence the critics. Fernando Fergalicious, well, number one here at Queensland Raceway. You have got to be over the moon. Oh, mate. Mate, I've got, I've, I'm right out of worse, Jase. Mate, I couldn't, couldn't ask for a better uh, opponent in the uh, final. Qualified number one, number one in the end. Mate, what more can I say? You've got some great sponsors behind you as well. Autosline Industry Adrenaline Car, the, the, the thing's absolutely on song. It took us a couple of rounds, but now we got it where we want it, and I think I feel very confident in it, feel very com comfortable. Mate, I, I need a drink or something, Jase. You've got one more round before you can have a drink, mate. One more round at Oran Park. Are you going to replicate this? Are you going to take it all the way home? Jace, like I said two years ago, mate, they're coming to my house. We've done it now. I'm in the best car out there, that I reckon. And I reckon we're going to take it all the way. Congratulations, mate. Number one at Queensland Raceway. The, uh, number one at Oran Park. Just you watch. Robbie Bolger, you're in second place. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Jason. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have lost to a nicer bloke, because I'm quite happy. If me and Fernando are mates, so I'm quite happy for him to win. I think it's awesome he's got to win. Well, you battled really, really hard, mate. You had some tough battles earlier on, but you got through and you're on the podium. Yeah, we had a couple, but that's what drifting's all about, isn't it? You, you win one, lose one, you might get one. Looks like you've already got a trophy in your hands there. Yeah, mate, this is my precious little boy. He asked me to bring my trophy home today, so I brought him on home. Cuda the Barracuda, El Huli, you are number three. Mate, I'm stoked, number three. You can't get on on podium. I've never been here. 
Queensland, I mean, Sydney, we came fourth. Queensland, we're third. Hopefully, the next round, we're first. Let's take a look at your points after an awesome round. And Robbie Bolger clinging to a 50-point lead over the Corporal. Truella is right in there. So is Afro. Oh, this championship is really heating up. Been an awesome day here at QR. Well, it is run and one here at Queensland Raceway for round four of the 2007 Drift Australia Series. All roads now lead to Oran Park. Now, before we find out who is numero uno, you can head to www.driftaustralia.com.au and we'll see you at Oran Park. Fernando Whirl, wouldn't he love to shove it up the critics? This could be it. Who will be the champ of this Look round? Look at that last corner blazing the tyres. It's an 11-9, Fernando!